What could possibly come between two people who look at each other like that? Presenting Lady Fiona Pembroke. <laughs> Maggie Moo. What was going through your head when the writers were like, you know what, we're gonna have you play not two, but three versions of yourself this time? I was like, y'all crazy, send me a script when you got it. I, I came on as a producer and it was really fun and a really good exercise on, on my creativity to be able to create a whole other character. I have a great idea. You want us to do what? We switch back. You said you needed more time with Kevin. Do you really think we could pull it off? How did you juggle all three characters, especially those accents, because I feel like that's tough to nail, especially Fiona's, because hers is just a little different than Margaret's. Oh, double chin, that's a delete. Here we go. Fiona's is easy for me because it's an accent that I put on from time to time for my own entertainment. It's it's Margaret's that is the most work because I'm just like, there's nothing worse than a bad RP accent. So very, very grateful. Shout out to my dialect coach who was with me on set, making sure that everything's cohesive. I'll tell Edward everything as soon as it's over. Any for your thoughts? Ah, uh, yes. Stroll a day keeps the bad weather away. Did you take any inspiration from any real life royals when putting on the Margaret accent? Be here and there, but you know, I think that like at the end of the day, the thing that I loved about this so much is like it's it's my interpretation of of what royalty is, and then as well bringing in all these different other characters who are completely different people as well. Now you're obviously the queen of Halloween. We all know this. We love seeing your outfits and everything like that. <laughs> But do you get as festive for the holidays with decorating or a family tradition or anything like that? I mean, Halloween definitely takes the prize for me, but I love decorating. I love throwing parties. I miss throwing parties, but I was starting a tradition myself a few years ago where I hired a pianist um, and she brought little booklets of like Christmas songs and we would all just like sit around the piano and basically scream sing these songs, which was so great because it's not about like who's a good singer. It's about just like that Christmas spirit and joy and ultimately being together. Finishing touches, rings. Feels weird taking it off. Even better than last time. Of course, everyone loved the first film. I want to switch places with you. Switch places? I become you and you become me. Get out. Which makes me wonder, what was your favorite holiday film growing up? Nightmare Before Christmas, because it's Halloween and Christmas. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I was gonna say, I was like, I didn't want to speak for you, but I had a feeling that was gonna be it. This is my cousin, Fiona. Oh dear lord, there are three of them. Now we hear that there's gonna be a princess switch three what can you tell us about it are we gonna get a fourth vanessa no you are not i'm not even gonna entertain that idea <laughs> shut that one down real quick um but it will be another fun and exciting and entertaining whimsical ride why can't i pull the switch be Ooh. queen off with their heads <laughs>